the rise of an empire rose to the top of the box office chart, cutting out the competition with $45.1 million. The sequel underperformed, however, seven years ago. The original took in $70 million. Number two on the chart, Mr. Peabody and Sherman brought in $32.5 million, and nonstop dropped to third place with $15.4 million. Mr. Peabody and Sherman is based on the short cartoon segments that were in the Rocky and Bullwinkle TV series. I always loved the puns and genuine hilarity along with a delicious subversive streak in the big screen version. We get a weird backstory about Mr. Peabody being Sherman's dad. What? Where did that come from? It also loses a lot of the spirit of the original. Fleshing out a three-minute cartoon into feature length isn't easy, but I didn't care for some of the choices. Loads of vanilla, syrupy sentiment, and requisite fart jokes take away rather than add. That said, some of the sequences are well done. The Wayback Machine is cool, and I especially enjoyed the Trojan Horse and Da Vinci segments. Modern Family's Ty Burrell provides Mr. Peabody's voice and does a decent job. The ending, seemingly borrowed from Ghostbusters, spirals out of control and lost me. Ultimately, it goes for heart-tugging. I wanted zany. It's no dog, but I still prefer the original. Check out the DVDs or go watch some on Amazon Prime or YouTube. Three stars out of five. 300 Rise of an Empire is a lot of highly stylized nonsense. The Greeks have English and sometimes Cockney accents. Not that what they say is worth listening to. Some of the dialogue is downright laughable. It also has a silly waterlogged plot and slow motion with every swipe of the sword spewing gobs of computer-generated blood. There's so much slow-mo that there's about 45 minutes of actual content in the entire movie. Then there's this airborne floaty fuzz in every scene that takes place in Greece. What is all that? Chicken feathers? All I can figure is that ancient Greece must have had a huge chicken factory, always plucking feathers and tossing them into the wind. It makes sense. They fry chicken in Greece, don't they? Uh, <clears throat> Slow-mo and chicken feathers, two stars out of five.